Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some glue at home. We are all here under shutdown due to coronavirus and uh, if you want to make something at home when you need some glue, you want to do a project, um, you don't have to go out to buy glue. I will just show you how to do it in your own kitchen. But uh, make sure not to try and do it yourself. It involves heat. You need to burn your burner. So please ask your parents for help. Here are the things you will be needing. Uh, you will be needing some corn flour. Okay. Um, some water. You need a spoon to get the corn flour out. And a fork to mix it in the water. Now let me show you how to do this. Okay, so you take the corn flour. Now, uh, you will need another container like a cup or something to mix the corn flour in or it will get uh, lumpy. You don't want the corn flour to get lumpy because then you will get a lumpy glue. So, I will take like two, I don't want to make too much glue, I just want it for one project. I will take around two tablespoons of corn flour and I will mix a little water in this and I will mix the corn flour thoroughly. The corn flour should not be lumpy in there because then you will get a lumpy glue. So I will mix it thoroughly. Right now it's the con consistency of condensed milk. Uh, you can see it's quite thick. Now, I will put a little bit more water in there. The corn flour is mixed now completely, there are no lumps in there. I will put more water. Let's fill it up with the water. The corn flour should be like you don't want the glue to be very thin because then it won't stick properly and it will run down everything but you also don't want the glue to be very thick because it's then become going to become lumpy and if you are sticking things it will be like lumps under your paper and it's not going to make your paper smooth okay so i will now this is the consistency of toned milk that will give me like a medium thickness glue. I'm going to put it there in the thing. I think I, I'm going to make a collage. If I'm going to make a paper sculpture, I'm going to use a thicker glue. But right now I want, I want to make a collage. So I want my glue to be little thin. I don't want it to be lumpy under the paper. So I'm going to add a little more water there. Now, I want to bring this to boil, but under slow fire, I don't want it to boil. I think the gas is switched off from there. Okay. So, the important thing is that I have to keep stirring it to keep stirring it while it's being made because otherwise it will get lumpy at the bottom it will start sticking at the bottom and your glue will become lumpy so the idea is to keep stirring the glue so it doesn't the corn flour doesn't settle down and we need to bring it slowly to a boil 
Now, this one will take around four to five minutes to boil. And once it's boiled, once it's done, you will see the white milk-like look. It will become translucent. Okay, you will pick it up and it will look transparent. And in there, it will look translucent. Like transparent, but little cloudy. So, this is a very glue, good glue you can create at home. It's called starch-based glue. You can make it with uh, corn flour, flour, you can use maida, you can even use rice powder. You just need to keep stirring this thing. It's uh, getting there. If you will see, it is becoming lumpy now. You can see these lumps happening. You have to keep stirring it, otherwise it will become very lumpy. You have to keep stirring the glue. It's almost there now. You can see it becoming slowly transparent. And it's becoming thick. You can see it's becoming thick now. Now remember this glue is extremely hot it has it, it has got trapped water vapor in it and water vapor as you know can become very very hot you at this point you need to be very careful with the glue uh, if you get that glue on your skin it's going to cause severe burns so please please don't do it by yourself ask your mom ask your dads to help you uh, it is uh, a supervised activity and definitely definitely not to be done by the kids now as you can see the glue it's become it's become transparent it's not like the milk anymore and the glue itself has become translucent the white thing that you see is all trapped water vapor in there which is extremely hot i'm going to switch this off now and then i'm going to cool it I just keep stirring it keep stirring it and it will cool down don't ever to try to touch this hot glue the hot glue will just stick to your hand and it will remove the skin because it's extremely hot and it's got very very hot water vapor trapped inside so I'm going to keep shaking it and I'm going to wait for it to cool down that is it thank you guys so this is how you make starch based glue at home